Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. So some of you guys, a few of you guys asked me the difference between computer science, computer engineering, and software engineering. And it could be quite confusing, I know, because they look all they sound all similar. Computer science, computer engineering, software engineering. And uh, so I'm going to explain the differences between those three and uh, I have a screen recording right now and I'm going to also show you how to research by yourself so in this video I'm going to also show you um, how you can look up something on the internet because you need to build that kind of a problem solving research skills by yourself you can't always ask me questions forever you need to build your own research skills as well so that's kind of the reason why I'm showing you the way I research so what I do you know just software engineering versus computer science I know some answers already but I'm showing you how to research if I were you all right so it shows up and uh, what is better degree computer science or software engineering in theory software engineering is a subset of computer engineering but in practice computer engineering often refers mostly to hardware that's correct but also in practice a lot of computer science programs focus mostly on software <laughs> all right so open this you know you can look up this online it's a free information right so it's really important for you to build this research skills <laughs> So software engineering versus computer science. This is a lot actually hard to read. So close this. Computer science versus software engineering. All right. To begin with. Okay. So you just need to read through. But basically, computer science versus software engineering is that it said here. Software engineering is subset of computer science. Computer science. Computer science is more theoretical. And computer science versus computer engineering. What's the difference? Computer engineering is more to do with hardware, electricity, uh, uh, like a chipset. Focus on more computing all forms, microprocessors, embedded computing devices, so embedded systems, real-time systems, distributed system, computer architecture, hardware, operating system. That's what computer engineering is more about. Like processors, chipset, like think about Intel, think about Dell, think about HP, think about you know CPU. Those are like like an electrical electric chipset. They do like you know um, what is it called? Uh, the, what is it called? You know I didn't take much of a hardware stuff, so I don't really know. But I because I didn't like hardware, so I don't take it. Whereas computer science is mostly about software concepts, abstract stuff, and uh, theory. So that's the... So this is a nice diagram. Computer science, math, software, network security. Computer engineering, optimized hardware, software combination. Computer engineering, circuit, yeah, circuit, electrical issues, like a circuit, chipset, hardware, that's more computer engineering. But there's also, you know, the you know overlap in computer science and computer engineering, which is software. So you can look up like this. You can do your own research. So yep. Yeah. I would say in terms of you know you know employability, computer science has more you know, give you more job, uh, like employable skills than computer engineering. And that's not true, but software engineering gives you more employability than computer science, because computer science is a little more theoretical, could include uh, graduate level, master level um, courses. So, yeah, here's a nice uh, comparison. Computer science, computer languages, environments, databases, job opportunities for computer science, computer and application programming, automation, develop websites, run quality assurance tests, QA. Whereas computer engineering, develop both software and hardware, right? So you are going to learn software and hardware and computer engineering. 
infrastructure physics and manufacturing physical devices integrated circuits. We're talking about chipset, uh, CPU, that kind of stuff. Master robotics, pattern recognition, speech processing. So robotics is as well. Robotics includes, you know, involves uh, you know, Intel, some of the other chipset as well. So that's why it's more computer engineering per se. Develop in manufacture aerospace, automotive, fuel, water, medical, telecommunication system and devices. <laughs> it's a little bit more of a hardware, but not quite you know 100% hardware, right? Sounds right. So what about software engineering and computer science? You know, let's see if there is a diagram here. So yeah, this is something like you know, computer science and software engineering. They also they both share programming skills here but they learn something a little different. So, here, this is a really great explanation. You know, as you know, I was right. Difference between software engineering and computer science. Computer science is concerned with theory and fundamentals, but software engineering emphasizes more on practice. Coping with increasing diversity, traditions, and coping with stuff first and cheaper. So this is a little more practical than computer science, which is more theory and fundamentals. So software engineering is concerned with practical aspects of developing and deliver, uh, delivering software. What that means is that this is more like a real world industries, you know, what are you going to do at the job, at the real company. That's more concerned, so that software engineering is more to do with what are you going to do, what you're going to do at the real company. Whereas computer science, computer science is more theoretical, so it's more oriented toward the you know, research at the university, you know, PhD, master's student, and both are uh, you know equally important. But there are less jobs, uh, there, there are job, less jobs for researchers and data scientists because they require much higher education, like masters and PhD. So obviously, you know, supply is gonna be less, demand is gonna be less, and the only big companies can you know hire those really you know, research level, you know, talents as a data scientist or researchers. That's quite good. Uh, you know, I think I answered the question pretty much. Software engineering versus computer science. Computer science involves theories, computer functions. Uh, this is a good diagram. Computer engineering, computer science, math, physics, software engineering, computer engineering, electronics. Yeah, this is kind of true. Computer science touches a little bit of math, a little bit of physics, depending on the school. As if you didn't require me to study physics at all. You know, computer science teaches you a little bit of software engineering. Didn't teach me computer engineering, which was good. Yeah, so here. So somebody asked me like, what kind of jobs you can get out of computer science. So this is exactly like, you know, uh, this is really good. I'm gonna copy this image and add this here. Here, computing. It's gonna be most of them are going to be software engineer. Some of them could be networking network administrator. Some of them could be database administrator or IT support seven percent. System analysis. They don't really exist, but most of them are going to be software engineer, which is good. So I'm going to switch to. So I think that's enough, right? And I'm going to show you. Oh, this is pretty good too. Data scientist is part of computer science as well. Uh, you can look up this by yourself. Computers, computer science, computer engineering, information technologies. Yep, computer science teaches you programming skills. But anyways, I'm going to show you what kind of courses are more computer science, what are more of software engineering. Okay, so I studied, looked up uh, SFU computer science, and this is a result. <laughs> 